Welcome back to Schweitzer Kids Church Online. Here's today's agenda. You can skip ahead or double back to catch the content you like best. We're so glad you've joined us today. Here's our memory verse brought to you by some Schweitzer friends. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Luke 2.14. We'll talk more about the angel's message to the shepherds in a minute, but now for a worship song. This is Schweitzer Kids bringing you the good news. for another exciting episode of Guess That Bible Character. Give it up for your host, Nina Verbanez. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Guess That Bible Character. Today we have some special contestants on our panel. We have Adeline, who you may see knocking it out of the park at the t-ball field. And we have gracing us on our panel once again, our friend Lucy, the budding young artist of Springfield. And backstage, we have a secret mystery guest whose name I can't tell you. Here's how the game works. Our contestants will ask questions of the mystery guests to figure out their identity. When they have it figured out, they will buzz their buzzer and guess their answer. And whoever gets it right is the winner. Adeline, are you ready? You get the first question. Thank you. Are you in the Old Testament or in the New Testament? The New Testament. 
How many eyes do you have? How many eyes do I have? Yes, how many eyes do you have? Uh, okay, I have two eyes. Thank you. Did you know Jesus personally? Yes, I met him once. Do you have any pets? Yes, actually, I have lots of pets. Aha! I know exactly who you are. You are the zookeeper. Nope. Aww. Are you one of the shepherds? Yes. All right, we have a winner. Now let's learn a little bit more about those shepherds. On the night that Jesus was born, the shepherds who lived near Bethlehem were out at night in their fields watching over their sheep. Suddenly there was a bright light. This wasn't just any bright light. This light was so bright that the shepherds had to close their eyes. When they opened their eyes to see what was going on, a beautiful angel was standing in the air, just above them with his arms wide open. The shepherds were very afraid. They couldn't run away because they were scared stiff. Then the angel spoke to them. Do not be afraid. I'm here to bring you good news for all people. Today in Bethlehem, a baby was born. He is the one that will save the world. You will know the baby because he will be wrapped in cloths and laying in a manger. Suddenly, hundreds more angels appeared and said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. After they spoke, they disappeared. The shepherds were amazed and excited. They had to go see this baby that the angels had told them about. They ran as fast as they could and soon found Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. When they saw Jesus, the shepherds were filled with joy that they had found the Lord. The shepherds only stayed a few minutes because they realized that Mary, Mary needed to sleep. As soon as they left, they began shouting in the streets and telling everyone they met about what they had seen and about the arrival of baby Jesus. Wow, what a great message. It must have been amazing to hear those angels singing and see the baby Jesus. For our viewers at home, if you want to check out this story in your Bibles, you can open up to Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. In this season of Advent, we are preparing to celebrate the mystery and joy of God sending His Son into the world to save us. As we light the candles on our Advent wreath each week, we think about preparing to go to Bethlehem, a little town sitting in the hill country about 10 miles south of Jerusalem. For thousands of years, the houses have huddled there on the hilltop. God sent us many people to show us the way to Bethlehem. This is the candle of the prophets that reminds us that prophets like Isaiah listen to God so they can show us the way to Bethlehem. This is the candle of the Holy Family. It reminds us not to be afraid, but to be joyful on the way to Bethlehem. On this third week, we celebrate the shepherds. The shepherds on their way to Bethlehem have good news too. An angel came to them and said, Do not be afraid, be joyful. Today, a Savior, God's special Son, is born in Bethlehem. You will find Him lying in a manger. This is the candle of the shepherds. It reminds us of the good news. A Savior, the special Son of God, is born, and He's here to save everyone from the lowliest shepherd to the mightiest king.
to give glory to God. And don't forget, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Luke 2, 14. Join us next week for another message of truth to guide your life. And if you want some fun activities to do with your family and friends, you can look at our webpage, sumc.co slash kids. And remember, Jesus loves you and so do we. Thanks for joining us. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video. We can't wait to see you next time.